The book is a study of how digital media has changed the political landscape in many countries around the world. And they've been doing so especially in countries of North Africa and the Gulf and Southeast Asia, where we're starting to see political dialogue of the kind that has never been seen before in the region. And it's almost always because digital media have allowed some creative activists to do something interesting and new that forces a controversial political conversation that many of these authoritarian regimes don't want to have. The inspiration comes for me from the fact that when the headlines in our news cover internet use in many parts of the developing world, they tend to talk about how the internet is a tool for terrorists, for radicals, for fundamentalists. This is what captures our news headlines. The more important story is much more boring than that. It involves mainstream political actors, traditional parties, small civic groups, mainstream actors that use the internet in creative ways to reach young people. And so the goal of the book is to tell that other side of the story. There are several kinds of evidence used in the book. The first is ethnographic. So I spent some time in Tajikistan, Tanzania, Azerbaijan, doing interviews with local activists, public policy makers, political leaders. Then there is the quantitative study that uses democratization indicators. So I combined the qualitative work that I did in these three countries with the quantitative modeling that allows us to say something about the typical formula for democratization over the last 15 years. It's a long-term investment, and media technologies, especially digital media, social media, mobile media, have to be part of that outreach. Today, young people in North Africa, the Gulf, their attention is uh, very much captured by the digital content they find online, the movies, the social networking applications, the digital storytelling that they see. And the important thing from the US point of view is to become a good competitive digital storyteller to be able to reach into countries and say something about what the quality of life could be, what reasonable development goals could be, and what democratization could be, what it could offer to its citizens. Having a long-term development strategy that involves smart use, sophisticated use of information technology is very important.